performance, a good average of 41.35. And is uh, here Sheffield. A little bit of swing, but that's uh, the umpire possibly a little bit harsh. That's swatted away, back with a point. That's going to get the first boundary for Australia. Just uh, a little all right with the line and driven driven past that short extra cover and through to the extra cover boundary for four runs this is looking pretty ominous he's in a different groove as Shane Watson that's driven straight in the V no chance for that mid on fielder what a superb shot that was four more runs side right on the that shot and he hit it away past the bowler a powerful strike by Shane Watson really up and under off it goes way way and long way over the boundary for a six superb strike yes it was a mighty hit he stretched right out to it he realizes that the ball will drift towards midland legs. Well, that's put away. Didn't seem to connect it. Side of the scale releases pressure for the batsman. There he goes for the big one again. It's going all the way for maximum into the stands. Goodness gracious, that is a splendid strike from Shane Watson on song today. Yes, he's connected a few this afternoon but uh, this was the best one he really hit that off the middle of the bat a long long way and that's really a loose loose delivery and what do you get for it a six a flat six yes they're making it pretty easy short and Watson was quick again short and upish and over the top once more that is his 50 and it's coming good time he's hit his fourth six of 26 deliveries yes he's making it look like child's play the bangladesh bowlers playing into his hands bowling them short rather unselfishly very quickly and that's gone a mile that has traveled the distance he's such a big hitter of the ball watson you got to get it thing that a left arm spinner has been consistently providing those long hops goes deep into it and the ball goes deeper into the stands uh, it's definitely a disappointing time for a lot oh well, that's played away nicely through point area no need to run for that one he's in uh, extremely fine touch watson beyond watson he's gone again over mid wicket no need to run for that one when he strikes it stays struck oh slow delivery that's put away nicely he had plenty of time to maneuver that one over square leg it's a no ball obviously oh goes for a big sweep shot there's nobody there Once again, an easy hit for Watson. That's gone the distance. Great balance, massive power. And the exit is the captain of the Australian team. The emperor, as they call. The vice captain. Oh, is he enjoying himself? A grand hit. And he's uh, got passed through that uh, infield and will go to the boundary. What a way to bring up his 100. His sixth uh, one day international 100 in a fantastic time gets a good round of applause from his teammates and also from the crowd absolutely brilliant display of power hitting and he hits one in the air there should be someone getting underneath it oh well uh, it might have just crossed over the rope but there was an opportunity for Abdul Razak to catch it Well, it seems that he wants to finish it quickly. That's gone up in the air and gone over. That's a muscled away. 
On to the onside here for yet another six. Six number seven for... Something like that we'll have to ask our statistician. But if, I'm, if I could be out in the field now talking to the bowler, Shavu, this young man, he had a... Well, has uh, gone up in the air and way over the fielder. Another six. That's uh, number eight uh, for uh, Shane Watson. These are the two sixes. The first one uh, was on to the mid-wicket region. The other one hit it uh, long on way back. My God. That is uh, three sixes in a row. Well, he seems to be in a hurry. Uh, in a brilliant display. Not the best of the deliveries. But if you offer him any opportunity, he'll put you to the sword. Superb shot. Well, it's not stopping over. It's gone a mile. That's even a bigger one. And he uh, equals the record of most sixes being hit by an Australian batsman in a one-day international. Thank you, pardon. It was Matthew Haddon. Who uh, hit up. My what is club that again? And, uh, he's got enough legs. Good piece of fielding from uh, Rubel Hussain. He has been in good shape. Goes big. Decisive blow. That's a massive six. Absolutely a big monster from Watson. He's gone past the field at point. Ricky Ponting would want him to come back for the second. Watson can raise his back to the gallery because he's achieved another great milestone. 150 runs in a one-day international. Off significantly. He goes big. He's achieved the feat. That is world record six. Six number 12. And that is fantastic hitting. Look at this one disappear over long on. A dozen it is of 176 against Bangladesh in the World Cup. Just keeps going on. Don't need to bother. It's gone all the way. It's just phenomenal uh, hitting uh, from uh, Shane Watson. Just six number 15. I bet you Razak, who's been on the receiving and wish he had made a better effort when he was 101 dropping that catch. It's almost if of 96 deliveries. Well, it's all over. They'll go to the boundary. Ricky Ponting picks up the winning run so with yet another boundary. And Australia winning uh, handsomely by nine wickets. Uh, so he'll be disappointed. Might have thought when uh, they were having lunch that... Uh, they were in for a good game but my word Shane Watson had different ideas one Shane Watson uh, played this uh, phenomenal knock yep Shane Watson 185 not out of 896 Brad Haddon missed out Ricky Ponting 